Greetings, I'm Undone Builder, and today I'm going to show you some basic tips and tricks on how to use Roblox Studio. These are just things I've learned throughout my developing on the platform, and if you're experienced, you'll probably know about most of them, but for those of you who don't, here they are. First, I'll do a few key commands, and in if you've never used a computer before, then Control C, copy something, and Control V, you know, paste it. Uh, most of you probably should already know that. Uh, in Roblox Studio, if you have something selected and you press the F button on your keyboard, it will center your camera on that object. Nifty in some cases. Another, th another thing that I find useful when building is if I want to copy something but I want it to be in the same place, which just copying it won't do, if you right click on the object and hit duplicate, it'll paste it into the exact same place as the thing you have selected. I did not know this for a long time and it's extremely useful. Another thing you'll see in your toolbar on home is collisions. I, I don't really know what you'd really use this for, but it's kind of neat. Um, when you have it selected, it will not allow you to move parts into other parts. When you don't have it selected, you can just move it through freely. Simple enough. In model, you can change the increments by which you rotate and move things. This, this is pretty neat, actually, and I use it a lot. Uh, most of you probably knew this, but those of you who didn't, now you do. Um, Besides that, you'll always want to keep open Explorer and Properties. Another thing probably most of you do, but if not, there you go. And in Explorer, you can find things like Workspace, which has its all own neat little tricks via which you can enable and disable uh, filtering enabled, which I won't get into what that does, but if you're on Roblox at all, you've probably heard of. And more importantly, what most people don't know about is streaming enabled. This is basically a lag reducer, and if you have a really complex game, this can be really useful to check market um, to reduce the lag in your game. It can be a bit funky on some builds. It might make it look bad, but it can really reduce lag, and I use it a lot. Uh, Another thing I find interesting is that, depending on your computer, Roblox will probably set your editing graphics to low. And I want to see the prime version of my build to my building. So if you open up File and go into Settings, you can change in yes, thank you in rendering the edit quality level. It has a weird system, but it's between one and twenty-one, and changing that will change the graphic level that you're seeing when editing in studio. Pretty nifty. Another thing is when I am making games I usually don't want the players to be able to zoom out all the way in this ridiculously large view that they can on the default Robloxes. Often they can see things like this that I, I don't want them to see, errors in the map, etc. So, if you go into, into Explorer, you find Starter Player, click on that, and in its properties, under Camera, you will find Camera Max Zoom Distance. It's automatically at 400, but if you change that, I personally prefer 20, and in-game, players can only zoom out that far. And that's really, really nifty. Um, last but not least, I'll show you a few plugins I like to use. I'll link all the mentioned ones in the description of this video. Um, obviously, to start with is the Roblox Animation Editor. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, there's a 10 million tutorials on how to use that, so I'm not going to go over that much. Uh, one I like that's a pretty common one is Reflect. It will reflect the model exactly on the plane you select and it's really nifty. The only downside to it is it doesn't reflect unions. If you want to reflect a union you'll need to separate the union first and then reflect it. Um, another thing that I am fond of is the model resize plugin. This is a popular one. Now I know that Roblox has its own custom model resize now and that's that's pretty nice but this one is nifty because one it'll go smaller than, than the Roblox plug than the Robux 
than the Roblox automatic one does. And it also has this thing, which allows you to set a percentage rate which is re on how you resize, which is really nice um, for getting more exact measurements when building. Um, there's that. Uh, there is Motor Creator, which is really, really nifty if you do anything physics-based or make custom rigs for animating like I do. The plugin has its own tutorial, but a brief thing that it can do is it can make custom rigs and it can make welds, which is really nifty. And it just There's a tutorial in that plugin for itself, so you can watch that if you want to learn how to use it, but I highly recommend it. Uh, another thing is CSG primitives. Uh, this thing is really, really nifty when you want to save time. I like to use it to make cones. Uh, really, really nice. Just automatically generates depending on specifics, cones and other shapes that are difficult to make on your own. Uh, and last but not least is Road Defender. This thing is invaluable. It it will uh, You can use it to scan your games for viruses if it saved me 10 million times over from having my games infected. And that's all there is for my tips and tricks. I hope you'd enjoy. I'm Undone Builder. Please like and subscribe.